trendsetter. So as you, some of you guys know, we have moved to a long-term um, vacation rental. And right now, the pressure is on to keep this place in tip-top shape. It's pretty late, but I figured, yep, it's pretty late, but I figured, let me see if I can get a better angle. There we go. It's pretty late, but I figured that this would be a really good time to um, unbox a gift that my sister gave me like a couple of Christmases ago. I wanted to wait um, before I opened it until we were somewhere where it would be a better use. Um, it's a RoboVac and I figured that they work better on hard surfaces, so I figured I will wait until we were somewhere with hard surface flooring, which we are, and there's a large area of hard floor that we have to keep clean, so I figure why not let the robot back do it and see if it can do it. So anyways, I'm gonna unbox it and show you guys what we got. Okay, so here's the box here, and I think the kids had previously tried to open it. Uh, Juliana and Jeremiah, but I told them they would have to wait for me. So, if it looks a little, the box looks a little rough, that's why they previously tried to open it. Yeah, looks like they did. I'm gonna turn this around. Yeah, so here's the other side of the box. The kids previously tried to open this. Uh, before I was ready so it looks like here we have some basic instructions removing the protective film installing the side brushes placing the docking station opening the cover switching on the power switch and scanning the QR code so let's see how far we get with setting this up. It's a pretty blue color. For those of you who know, blue is definitely our favorite color. And it looks like it's... Oh. So, yeah, I think the kids... <laughs> They definitely had a ball with this, trying to get in here. That's an instruction manual here. Got some more brushes and the docking station here. So I'm gonna get this set up. Okay, so I have the docking station set up here. It definitely looks like my kids got into the box. Um, as I've inspected the vacuum, but I have the docking station set up in a little corner here. And I'm gonna install the app next and um, try to power it on. You can see some of the spare items in there like the filter and the brushes. Okay, so I am in the Smart Home app and I'm gonna log in. So it looks like there's several different things that you could control from here. But I'm gonna go to Small Home Appliances and I'm looking for I think it's this one, right, Jerry? The robot vacuum, BLE, Wi-Fi. The robot vacuum, BLE, Wi-Fi. Um, right. Uh, uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. So now I'm gonna power it on.
and the indicator is not blinking. So, let's see here. Just a moment, guys. So it looks like we had the wrong app, so I'm in the OKP Life app now. And I'll come back once I get this uh, set up. So now it's pairing. I think the kids definitely were messing with my robot vacuum. But it's my first time using it and unboxing it myself. So now I'm just getting it to pair. the unboxing was a disaster but I'm just running it um, I was not able to get the app to work because of our Wi-Fi is like a 5 uh, gigahertz Wi-Fi and it runs off a of 2.4 so it was not compatible don't mind the boxes over there we're still sorting through things and didn't want to bring too many things in here but it's over there moving around I hope it'll come back in this area because it missed a lot um, in this area watch out Jalen what does it move by itself yeah it missed a lot in here so I'm hoping it'll come back over to this area we'll see how it goes guys why can't it go on the carpet I just don't want it to um, I'd rather keep it on my heart floor We'll see how it goes, guys, but it's over there doing its thing. Why does it not vacuum up this thing? I don't know. It seems to really like that area over there. <laughs> um, it keeps going in circles. I don't know, guys. I'm letting it learn the room, which is what it's doing. Um, but it does seem to be running in circles. I'll come back to you guys. So it's in the kitchen now. It's been going up underneath like all the counter, I mean under the cabinets and dishwasher. It's pretty good about gauging when it runs into furniture and stuff and changing its course. But I like how it goes underneath the cabinets. I'll have to figure the app out later. The app, I just couldn't get the app to work too good, but I like how it goes underneath the cabinets to get things under the air. So I just wanna let it go around the kitchen and hopefully it makes its way back to the living room. I don't know. I try to get it in there. eat in here so it's good that it's getting everything in here crumbs and things up. I missed a couple of things under a cabinets here. But well, hopefully it'll make its way back. It must have heard me. <laughs> I don't 
think it can, I don't think it can hear though. I didn't think it could. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna let it just do its thing and come back at you guys later. All right. He's thorough, y'all. He's going under the refrigerator. He went under the refrigerator. It's making its way back over there. There's things that were underneath the cabinets that it sucked up. They're under the cabinets that are gone now. But yeah, it went under the refrigerator. It's going under the cabinets. It's pretty thorough. Not that there's too much, it's odds and ends in here, not a lot. We haven't been here long, like a week. But there were people here before us, at least two other renters. But the unit hasn't been occupied much. But it's got a nice little bit to get. We'll check the trap door and see what it got. It's gonna go back over there too. Is it? Yeah. I hope it goes back under there. It did pretty good at going on, um, around the refrigerator. I'm not going to open the pantry. <laughs> I like how it gets under the door though, even though it's not open, like it goes under the door. Getting the nooks and crannies. I like that. Come around, we got all the nooks and crannies. There were some popcorn kernels under there that I saw earlier. It's on the rug now. It's been on the rug for a little while. Cleaning off the rug. All types of oh, it's going under the couch. Is he gonna, oh, he oh he found the car. He can't get the car. There's a car under the couch. He's going under the couch. Well, all right. <laughs> It's cleaning under the couch, y'all. Y'all know we don't be going and moving furniture. Where'd he go? Is he stuck? He's finding toys under there. I think it might be stuck. He's trying to get out. Hopefully it finds its way out from under the couch. Yeah, it did. It got stuck on the other end, but it figured out it couldn't get out that way, so. Hoping it will get back on the rug, some spots it missed on the rug, but that's pretty cool that went under the couch. Hoping it'll get under these bar stools too. There's a lot of things under the bar stool. Little crumbs. This is still all for one charge. I haven't restart the unit. And this is a pretty large kitchen and living room area, so. It's back on the rug. I'm hoping it's a plenty of crumbs and things for it to get on the rug, but. Plenty to get on the rug, but I don't know. It's pretty good about running into things and turning around. Like once it realizes it can't get to a certain area. Just hoping it's plenty to get un under, um, you know, on that rug. Little crumbs and things. This isn't a high carpet rug, so. I 
I don't know what this is. I could let it get up, but it looks like this is a no, that's a stain. How you like your new, how you like your new pet? Yeah. You like your new pet? Yeah. Alright, let it finish getting the rug. I want it to get the rug. I don't get it, I really want. Yeah. I'm hoping it'll get some more of the things on the rug, but we'll see. It's getting around the couches. Ah, it's right there. Mm-hmm. I'm scared of that. It's going under the couch. I feel it. Oh, it got something. It knocked something out. It's finding a bunch of toys under the couch. I know there was a kid here before. It's finding a lot of toys under the couch, as y'all can see. What, there's some toys under the couch? Yeah, there's like a ball over there. You could go get it. A piece of dog food too, but it'll get it. It'll get it. It's finding a lot. It likes going under that couch. It's finding a lot of like treasures under that couch. I know it's over in that corner over there, but it hasn't knocked anything, so. Come sit down, Dylan. All right, we'll come back to you guys. You see, it's a piece of dog food over there. I should get it. Or something, cereal. I don't think it's dog food, though. It'll get it. Anyways, we'll come back to you guys. It's doing pretty good. Like, this part of the rug right here had some stuff on it, and it's pretty clean. But this is a low, this is a low carpet, so. It's over there somewhere. It's having a ball under that couch, I'll tell you that. Yeah, it's having a ball under that couch, y'all. There he goes. Yeah, he's having a ball under that couch. I don't know, it's all types of stuff under there, I guess, because... Go put that away. Whoa, what is this? It ended up getting the piece of dog food over there. I think once it comes back around, it loves going under the couch for some reason. Which, yeah, there is a lot of stuff under there. I guess you know people that were previously here. I think I'm gonna see if it can get back around the bar stool here and then I'm gonna send it home. It's It's under the couch again. It's gone under this couch like I've lost count at least three times. So when it comes out, oh, it found a Jenga block. Good grief. It just, it keeps finding things. I don't know what you want to do with the Jenga block. <clears throat> yeah, I guess it, it likes finding treasures under the couch, so. I just want it to come under my bar stool. Is it stuck? I kind of wish it would stop going under the couch. Is it coming out? It found another car? It found another car. Oh, I saw another car. Alright, watch out, Jalen. Watch out. Let it do its thing. Yeah. It loves going under that couch. It's been under there at least three times and it keeps coming on out with something new every time. 
I just wanted to go back over to my bar stool. Don't touch it, Jerry. Jerry's over there petting it. Jerry saying it has the same IQ as Domino. Finally, it went over that spot. Feels like it's been an hour. I don't remember what time I started it, y'all. Probably should have timed it, but I didn't. When it, I wanted to go back over to the bar stool. I got a piece of fur just now. All right, y'all, slow going. I'm gonna come back. I just wanted to go under my bar stool, honestly, and I'll be content. All right, y'all, I'm sending it home because I think it's gone over the areas quite a few times, so I'm gonna let it find its home. I press the home button. It's trying to find its way home. Home is over here. It should still be plugged in. It's trying to find its way home. trying to find its way home. Is it still moving, Jerry? I don't know why it keeps wanting to go under the couch. I'll come back to you guys. There it goes. I just wanted to go home. Press the home button, that sends it home, right? Keeps wanting to go over there and then it doesn't get out. trying to find its way home. I think it's finding it now. in the home No, you gotta power it off. Lift the trap door. No, you gotta lift the trap door right here. No, put it back on there. Oh, right, where does Randall? If you lift that thing out, see what's in there. 
So I got a lot of stuff. So you have to empty it out. You got a lot of stuff. You have to take that part off. Yeah, it got a lot of stuff. Probably not that way. Probably. Yeah, it got a lot of stuff. Anyways, till next time, trendsetters. We'll come back to you next time. I'm gonna try to get this emptied out. Peace. I'm gonna try to get this emptied out. All right, peace, trendsetters. Thank you.